You're going to see Murray State come out in a 4-4-2 with a diamond in midfield. And I think you're going to see Moorhead State come out in a 4-2-3-1. Again, Moorhead State are going to get the ball forward quickly and use the pace they've got out wide. Angelo Black's got terrific plays. So you maybe see a little bit more patience sitting defensively for Murray State. And they're going to look to hitch on the counter. If you've never seen Harriet Withers run before, look out. She's fast. If Taylor Richardson can get a foot on the ball, that's a dynamic duo. But again, Moorhead State's got plenty of their own. So uh, like I said, I used to play in the back. This is probably a good day. I'm not happy. I'll be playing in the back, chasing people all day long and being put under pressure. Both goalkeepers are going to have to be effective. Again, it's a, it's a difficult day to be a keeper. The ground is greasy. The ball's going to fly everywhere. So rebounds are going to be in play. And stage is set for a, uh, a really entertaining afternoon. Yeah, and hopefully, hopefully none of the goalkeeper's worst nightmare doesn't happen today. And imagining if the ball slip, slips around due, due to uh, the greasiness because of uh, the recent rains, it's going to be raining a little bit on and off throughout the match as Moorhead State will kick off towards Racer Arena and Murray State will attack the goal near Chestnut Street. We are underway here in the second quarterfinal between Moorhead State and Murray State. And Moorhead State comes out on the attack here. A deep ball in is gonna be, is gonna go wide. And it, and Murray State's just gonna clear this one out for a throw in. It's gonna be a big part of the game today, set pieces. Moorhead State works off a long throw and they spend a lot of time on the training field working on their set pieces. So it's gonna be an effective part of their game. Murray State's gonna have to defend these set pieces well and in order to be effective. And indeed it's a long throw and they're coming down as Wilson throws it in from down the hill. Ball's loose in the box, and, Mer and Moorhead State's definitely being physical as they pl as they take play play through. There will be another throw in for them, and they're going to throw it in. They're climbing pretty much halfway up the hill up there, and it's right to a Murray State defender. Murray State will clear it out over to Harriet Withers. Murray State unable to formulate an attack here and it's cleared out for another Moorhead State throw in. And Moorhead State is putting the uh, defending re the regular season champions on the on the back of the on the back of their heels right now. Another inbounds, appeal for a handball from the Murray State bench. Tumbled nothing. No call from the referee as Stegerwald collects. High spiraling punt. Deflected off of uh, Murray State elbow. Referee says no handball. And Murray State will get their first row in. A lot of navy and gold for the hometown racers. Of course the tournament being played here in Murray Stadium on Cutchin Field. The former site, the the former site of the former football stadium, the former home, the Murray State Thoroughbreds, as they were known for many years, and then renamed the Racers. Moorhead will clear it out. Trying to mount an attack here. Sends it long. Stegerwall comes out of the box and will collect. You can really say clearly as you look on the field, you can see the 4 2 3 1 of Moorhead in clear evidence, a little diamond. So, no surprises tactically from either team about what they're going to do here. That certainly is the case right here. And this is where it's dangerous. And this is where if she can get in behind her. And she's going to be flagged for offsides. Really well defended. I can tell Moorhead spent a lot of time working on that, just keeping a very high line, keeping tight, and just let Harriet Withers run offside there. Ball needs to be played earlier there by Taylor Richardson. Just playing a little hole and let her get onto it and chase it. But well defended there. Nicely done, well organized. Yeah, definitely. Mer uh, Moorhead State's definitely going to try to keep, uh, trying to catch uh, Harry Weathers off, off so as offsides as often as they can. That's probably going to be one of the strategies they're going to do to appeal in this game. Hey, what? That's a clear hand ball. The referee thought obviously it was ball to hand. Clear hand ball outside the box, but no reaction from the player, so obviously he's right there. Yeah, I mean, that was a clear hand ball, as you said. But referee's uh, 
Not calling it anything at this point. Good job, Allie. Now Moorhead State have a chance here. Black looking the cross here. Gets by one defender. Mounting an attack, and the ball will roll out for a Moorhead corner. Angela Black is very quick in her own right. Dangerous, goes positive, doesn't look to go backwards a lot again. Just uh, did enough to get a corner there. This is going to be very dangerous. And Paul Mattier coming out to take the corner. Some physical size in there for Moorhead. Little zone across the box from Murray there, and everybody else is uh, player for player across the box. But five, really interesting. Five players in the box as Palmatier will send send the corner in, and it's scooped up by Stegerwald. Well taken by the keeper. Decent ball in. Somebody's got to get a little bit tighter. Hey, She's going to play the in swing in there. More head runs have got to start in a little bit closer to the keeper for that to be effective. Certainly going to be very clean, very open start to, to the match in the first five minutes. Both, team, both teams have had uh, some pretty uh, worthy chances, but, the def but de both of their defenses have stood up against these attacks. And Moorhead State with the attack now. It's Black, and she turns it over. And Harry Withers, she's on sides. And it's cleared out, and it's cleared out by Hilt. You'll see that love from Moorhead. Quick early ball in the space for Withers to chase. Richards is, Richardson's kind of the catalyst to that. Gets a foot on the balls, but dangerous in her own right too. And nothing really going so far. At least one corner kick for Moorhead. Nothing for Murray State as of yet. A long ball running out there is Tim. And that will be cleared down the left side of the field for Murray State. Good header, Lavatory. Tried to find Tim, but was unable to connect. And Withers. Withers gets by one defender. She's dangerous from here. And the flag's up. Again, well held line by Moorhead. Dangerous from cut inside by Withers. Richardson went a little early and uh, very well disciplined by the Moorhead back four. Yeah, Nicely done. Definitely a good opportunity for Richardson to put to bury one in the back of the net. She just went too early and the flag went up. Players fighting for the ball. Richardson tried to send it downfield, trying to find uh, Withers, and, and she was unable to fi find anyone. Send it through Black. Took a Knee to the to the lower back area. Wilson with the throw. Throws into Lavatory. Sends it long to Tim. Hilt out there in support. And that's tipped, and it will be a throw in just by the corner flag. You're gonna see this all day. You're gonna see this long throw all day from uh, Moorhead getting the ball into dangerous areas around the box. I like the way Moorhead started. They've settled down well, pressing hard, and uh, really taking the game to Murray. But Murray is a really dangerous team in the counter attack. They're gonna sit back and they know who they are. They win a lot of games, one nil, and by a goal, and they're gonna be very comfortable absorbing pressure. And this is where they're gonna hurt you. Anything on the counter attack, quickly done, is where they're gonna hurt you. As Murray State begin to th their attack, Langster. And the flag's up again. Murray State called off sides for the third time in the past under eight minutes. Coaches won't be too upset with that from Murray State. You know, you're running off sideline there. It, it means you're showing some ambition, some aggressiveness, and they, they won't be upset with that at all. Sooner or later, they'll get the time of those runs correct. But again, well done by the Moorhead uh, back four. You're showing very well, very well, uh, very well disciplined, very well organized right now. You see the free kick as Southeast Missouri has just returned from lunch to watch this uh, second semifinal to see who they will be facing off against on Sunday at one o'clock. And that was a tug right there and it's a foul against Murray State. Looked like, uh, looked like Gomez got her ponytail tug, tugged by Richardson. 
Ah, just a little incidental contact there, nothing there. Well defended by Gomez, no big deal. The free kick goes too long into the uh, Murray State defensive line and a bad touch right there. Murray State's go going to try to attack here. Withers gets a chance here, she could have a shot and it's saved, open net and headed off the line. And a bad touch right there. And, and Moorhead State avoids danger. Great sequence of events there. Withers had a good shot. Keeper got a foot in. Ball popped out to Richardson. Richardson hit it really well first time. Great clearance off the line. Yeah. Fantastic. Absolutely spectacular. If, that, if there wasn't a defender there, it would have been 1-0 Murray. And now Moorhead, and the shot will go high over the bar. As predicted, Wayne, end to end. Lots of chances, lots of opportunities. This is going to be a, uh, it's going to be an interesting game. When you get all these opportunities, someone's going to finish, though. Otherwise, that's going to hurt you. Definitely so. It doesn't look like anybody is uh, holding back in terms of uh, pl their play. Steger Wall getting ready for the goal kick. Another line drive as the wind is uh, picking up to a slight breeze here. And it's on. Withers is on sides, but it's collected by Murphy. Both teams, it's pretty evident what they came here to do. Moorhead are going to be a little more direct, get the ball forward to that deadly four that they've got, score a lot of goals. And again, Murray's going to sit back a little bit and look to counter using the pace that they've got. Langster, long ball, trying to find White. She does as White's going to try to look for a cross here. And a slide tackle right there right there by Gomez and it'll be Murray State's first corner of the match. Up to take the corner will be, be number 16, Foxley. Moorhead's brought all 11 players back for this. It's gonna be an in swing the ball with the left foot. Crow taking no chances early. Coach Lipko just, just deciding obviously in practice this week enough to get a lot of people behind the ball. Lofty high cross header, not, not on target. And I'll be out for a goal kick. A little bit too much flight on that ball. Do too much work to get in. She needs to drive that ball in a little bit. Decent shape on it, but that ball's got to have a little bit more pace on it there. Ball just looked like it just floated on the, air, on the wind a little bit, not driving it fully through. And it's an e easy, uh, could have been an easy collection for the goalkeeper if she chose if she's so chosen. Back and forth, forth between these two teams. Murray State finally collects possession with right, lays it off, up to Withers again. Withers pushed off the ball and it'll be a throw in in favor of Murray State. The Moorhead bench appealing for a throw in for their, their side. Crosses it in and it's out of play off the linesman for a throw in. Borat State taking their time. And Murray State able to get possession out of it. Up to That's a great ball by Stevens. Great. That is a great ball. Great ball to Weathers. Weathers with a cross, finds Langster. Langster gets by one defender, is gonna cross it in, and the header's too high. Weathers again, pass by and it's cleared away. And a poor touch right there, and the ball will go out for a goal kick. Lovely little play there by Stevens, a little clip into the corner, Weathers got on the end of it. Pulled the ball across the face, no one there to get on the end of it. That's how quickly Murray can be dangerous. You know, there's gonna be opportunities in this game. The key for Moorhead is not to panic. Just keep doing what they're doing and, uh, you know, keep sticking to their game plan, which I know they'll do. They'll send it back. And Murray State defends the, uh, the goal kick very well. First goal in this game be pivotal for Moorhead to get. 
They do not want to be coming out and have to throw players forward against a counter-attack team with this much speed. If they can get in 1-0, they can look to sit back a little bit and, and kind of build on their lead and just absorb a little bit of pressure as well. Yeah, especially when you consider that Moorhead have not played well in the second half, exceed giving away um, two goals. And as two balls were on the pitch, as a fan tried to throw it back and rolled it right down the hill into the field of play. The field, the field level here is surrounded uh, by little uh, hills. The biggest hill we are uh, sitting on right here in Murray State. Steger Wall with the goal kick. Headed away. And Murray State able to mount a counter attack here. Probably one of the interesting things about the field is how it's surrounded. Across from us is the uh, student union the student center here at Murray State. Uh, on the second level is the uh, cafeteria. You can imagine some people are still in there eating a late lunch and taking in the action here at, at Kutchin Field. And then over on the uh, left side behind the goal, Moorhead State is attacking is Racer Arena, the former home of Racers basketball and the current home of Murray State Volleyball. It's the largest volleyball only uh, arena in the entire country. Um, and it's gonna be a busy weekend indeed for Murray State as they, atta as they attack here. White will lay it out and it'll be a throw in in favor of Murray State. White will throw it in. Throws it into Richardson, and White is off sides. Taylor Steve Stevens has really started to get a, a hold of this game by herself, sitting in the uh, attacking midfield position there. She's kind of pulling all the strings now for Murray State, and uh, that's a dangerous thing for Moore. If she gets on the ball and is able to control the rhythm of the game, it's going to be a long day. They need to make sure they get a hold of her right now. Indeed, Gomez sends it up the sideline to... Uh, Wilson, a long ball to Tim. Can Tim keep it in play? Yes, she can't. No, she cannot. It's ruled a throw in for Murray State. Throw in, booted away by, by Wilson. Long ball goes down to Golden. And a slide tackle there by Foxley. And we'll go out for a Moorhead, Moorhead throw. Black gives it up, up to take a throw in. And deep throw in goes to Tim, but she's unable to get a good, good touch on it. Murray State unable to truly clear it and it's out for a throw. To Black. The cross is in and headed away. And a foul against Moorhead State. Foxley was challenged by was challenged by Black and it will be a free kick for the racers. Stegerwall in the back. Sends a line drive deep into Moorhead State State's uh, defensive half, and the referee and the referee calls a handball against Murray. Pritcher, the free kick from the circle, headed down and. Murray State tried to mount an attack. Yeah, Fox has got to do better there. She's got lots of time on the ball. She's got to be able to pick somebody out, at least keep possession, instead of just kind of giving it away there. Stevens attacking. She's on sides.
Keeps the ball in play, gets around one defender. Can't get around the other one. And the pass is off the referee. Play continues. It's down, down by Fry. Withers, and, she, and the ball is cleared away from her. Up to Tim. Tim with a cha challenge, trying to keep it in play. It's sent out for a throw in. Critcher will take the throw. Changes her mind and gives it to Fry. Throw-ins towards uh, Withers. Withers and the ball goes out for another throw-in. Play staying uh, consistently at midfield at this point in the match. And the throw-in goes off the back of a Moorhead State defender. Murray State quickly takes the throw-in. Moorhead's moving the ball ever so slightly up the field and then finally gives it up. Moorhead doesn't want to get locked in their own half here. Too many, uh, too many technically good players on Murray. That's, a, that's well won right there. And, and you get the ball in the other out. team's half and playing the other team half and uh, Murray's half a little bit relieve the pressure off the back four. And Moorhead finally gets into the Murray half after about a good uh, minute, minute and a half of attacking football from, uh, uh, Murray, from Murray State. And they'll come back again with another attack. The pass out towards Richardson. Out on the wing. Lays it off to Foxley. To Lancaster. Crossed by Withers. Up to White. White racing for it. Going to try to look for a cross here. And it's cleared out of play for a throw in over by the corner flag. This is a lot of pace. Murray State hands between White, Richardson, Withers. It's a, it's a lot of pace to deal with. Again, Moorhead's got the same going the other way, but um, right now Moorhead's got the edge of midfield with Lissy Wright and, and Taylor Stevens getting a hold of the game a little bit here. And the momentum is in favor of Murray State with four shots, three of them on goal. And although they've been flagged for offsides about four times, they've been very close to score, getting a great goal scoring opportunity. Moorhead State will try to attack here up toward, towards Tim. And it'll go out of play for a Moorhead throw in. Moorhead starting to mo move some of the midfielders up, and they turn it over as Murray State will get the throw. Bit of a chess match right now. I think both coaches are comfortable with where they're at. There's, uh, you know, obviously, except for the one that's cleared off the line, there's been nothing clear cut. You know, and uh, I think both are content with the way the game's going. Moorhead again needs to get the ball out of their own half a little bit and not uh, and not absorb too much pressure here. And Murray also ha need to, need has to make sure they don't o underestimate Moorhead State. This is a team that cruised to a victory 4-2 over uh, UT Martin and they have showed they can play attacking football very good. Jeremy Groves used to be Warren Lipka's assistant. I guarantee you there's no underestimate in anybody. <laughs> Bad touch right there is a Murray State throw. Coach Lipka won two SEC championships when he was the coach at the University of Kentucky. He's led Moorhead to numerous NCAA tournament appearances and conference championships. So he uh, knows what he's doing, that's and for sure. And Withers in the, in the defensive half. She's, she was onside. And the defensive tackle right there. Withers again, her shot's blocked. A shot from Stevens. Lays it off and it's cleared away. Pass intended for Langster and it's cleared out for a Murray State throw and Murray State definitely beginning to thre threaten here. Great tackle there by Palmatier. Saved the day. Cross, this is dangerous for Richardson and it's scooped up by the keeper Murphy. As I mentioned before the game, Richardson's soccer IQ is, is extremely high. Just tried to cushion that ball down on her head and every time she gets the ball, she knows exactly what she's going to do with it. She's a rare player. She's got real ability and pace to go with it. 
definitely equal, pretty much equal. Murray State has been a little bit more efficient in their chances, but Moorhead State has been able to withstand those chances thus far. And the tackle right there, there on Lankster. A good challenge. As the throw will come from Foxley. I like the referee in right now. Just letting him play. No drama. It's a good game. It's a hard fought game. It's clean. Both teams competing well. The referee's just letting them do what they're meant to do, which is play. Richardson trying to turn her defender. And fantastic job by Moorhead staying high. That back four is uh, extremely well organized. Didn't panic, didn't drop off. Just kind of held the shape. Foxley looking for Withers and unable to find her. Up to Tim, and Tim's been the key player in the uh, Moorhead State attack thus far, staying mainly in the offensive half, half of the field for Moorhead. As that ball goes out for Murray State, throw in. Foxley, the throw in to Stevens. It's on to Withers, and the flag's up again. Yeah, it's very close. Uh, it's very close. Obviously, the assistant referee is in a great position, but that was very close. I'll tell you what, it's a dangerous game to play. They're doing it really well right now by keeping the back four extremely high and um, very well organized. It is a dangerous game to play. One slip up, one mistake. Somebody comes out a little bit slow, you're in trouble. Yeah, especially look like Moorhead State. The, the Moorhead State the defensive backs fell asleep for a second. Was weren't really anticipating the pass, but they tried to mount. A little bit of an attack here, but it, go, but it goes out of play and gives Murray State possession. Throwing goes right, right to Palmet, to the Palmetier. Murray State trying to keep the ball in play, and it is a throw in. I believe a throw in for Moorhead State as we have our first substitution of the game. And it will be, and it looks like it will be number four for, Mer for Moorhead State. The right. Here. Weathers. And the ball's cleared out of play for, for a throw-in. Moorhead would be really happy when Withers gets the ball there. Not a danger, not a danger to use a pace. Well shepherded. And it will be uh, number nine, Demanti, who, will be, who came in on the substitution for Moorhead, out for, in for Angela Black. Angela Black's coming off an injury. I spoke to Coach Lipker early in the week, and you know they're just trying to make sure they can get her through the, uh, the weekend, get her through the game first, then the weekend. So she's, uh, she's not as game fit. She can be coming off with quite a lengthy injury there. Indeed, as Moorhead State begins their attack right now. Managed to fight and win the ball away from Murray State. A chance for Tim and a good challenge right there by Murray State. Goes out to White. White to Richardson. Richardson's tackled and the free kick is awarded to Murray State. Very clever, Taylor Richardson just put a body in the right place, just got a little nudge, went down, it was a foul, but very well done, very clever. And back to take the free kick will be Fry and correction, uh, Critcher will take the free kick. Sends it in towards the box, headed away as Moorhead State gets possession back. The pass is up to Tim, and Tim's starting to play more in the defensive third, as more Murray State starting to mount an attack here. Stevens, wide open in the middle and unable to find her. All defended. Again, good positioning by the Moorhead State defenders there, pick off the first pass in the passing lane. Second one, get to uh, correct position. Really well defended. Yeah, so what are your thoughts as we approach uh, the half hour mark here in this match? I think the game's in the balance. You know, uh, Murray's a little cleaner technically and, uh, you know, got the possession stuff, had the two co better chances, but Moorhead is a dangerous team. I think this game is finally balanced right now. Witcher. 
Moorhead's actually been doing a good job of uh, checking on Wh on Witcher. Yeah, it's on Withers. Right? Yeah, Withers is. I mean, she's been dating, but she only needs one chance to break free. You know, that's the beauty having speed. Speed is the hardest thing to deal with when you're playing in the back and. Murray has an abundance of pace here. Um, she's hopping at the same end. I'll tell you what, I'm very, very impressed by the Murray back four here. They've been solid. You know, one or two mishaps, it's going to happen. What they can't afford to do is turn the ball over in midfield and lead to a counter. They've got to be very clever with the ball, and they said they've got to keep an eye on Stevens. Speaking of a counter, here, here's one right now. Richardson, and it's in the hands of Murphy. Starting to see more and more Murray State students starting to come out here. It is a Friday. Everybody's... Uh, Ready for the weekend here. The weekend did start on a bit of a sour note for Murray State in terms of basketball. They lost to NAIA side Freed Hardman last night by two, by, uh, on a two-pointer with one second remaining. And they're looking to uh, make, make it all up as Murray State is trying to challenge for another Ohio Valley Conference women's soccer title. And the it's a dangerous free kick, dangerous. This ball's gonna swing in with the wind. Palmatier hit a great free kick when Moorhead won last weekend to advance to this game. This is a, she'll whip this ball in, and again, Moorhead's got some size and some physical ability in here. It's gonna be difficult to deal with. And Not a place where uh, Murray State wants to give away free kicks. It's gonna hurt them sooner or later. And there was some confusion right there. The referee indicated um, the scoreboard operator to stop the clock temporarily, and a shot by Tim is blocked. Tim bowled over number six, number six right. And that's a free kick for Murray State. Abby Tim is a handful. She's a real handful. She's physical, she's strong, she's relentless. She's very, very difficult to deal with. Her and Danny Wilson, the two freshmen, have been terrific for Moorhead all year. Not very often you're two leading scorers as a freshman. Especially when you have a fr freshman who is about six foot and probably the tallest player on the field right now for either side. She's mobile too. You know, there are a lot of players who are six foot that can't run and can't move. This this uh, player can move, she can run, she's tough, she's technically good, and she finishes chances. An awkward challenge right there. Murray State gets the, gets the attack here, lays it off to Withers. Withers is not trying to break through the lines of, Mer of uh, Moorhead State. Lays it off and the pass is intercepted. If that pass went through, it would have been a great chance on goal for Withers. Richardson and Withers are always looking to combine. You know, they've got a good understanding with each other. They've uh, created a lot together. Again, well defended, no panic. And Moorhead's going to get going to be comfortable as long as the game's in front of them, they're okay. Putting a subtle challenge in every time Withers goes for the ball, putting a little bit of challenge into it. No foul. And what it yeah, does, that'll eventually beat yeah, you Pater down. Pater and Withers. Getting ta tangled up a little bit right there. Nothing given, though. Uh, no foul there. No foul. Just, uh, again, just a cumulative effect of play. It's, this game's being played at a high pace. And it looks like it wasn't a foul, but the referee stopped play. Pate Patera is walking over to the bench area, and there will be a substitution for, Murray for both Moorhead and Murray State. And though Murray State will get possession again. <laughs> Referee instructs we, we're clear to play through again. And free kick is cleared away by Moorhead State. And it will be a throw in. Last substitution for Murray was uh, Marissa Burroughs came on for Taylor Richardson. And Moorhead substitution, uh, Lauren Duffy came on for Kimberly Golden. As we'll see another throw in for, Mur for Murray State. Uh, Moorhead State, correction. 
High ball. Collected by Gomez. Sent that back to Hilt. And sent downfield and collected by Foxley. He'll be out for another throw in. Foxley will throw it in towards Lankster. Stevens passes it back to Devine. And it's a through ball over to Bjorkvall. Bjorkvall. And Moorhead State gets possession out of that. Demanti. Passes it back to Golden. And the ball deflected will be a Moorhead State throw in over by the corner flag. It'll be Demanti to take the throw. Now leaves it off to her teammate, to her te teammate Wilson, standing up the hill. And you gotta wonder if these the fans who are pretty much on top of the the touch line here are going to interfere with those long throw-ins that Moorhead State likes to do. I think she'll just tell them to move or push them out of the way, right? Just kidding. You, ne you never know. It's ho it, the home team does have a sort of advantage with us. <laughs> Let's cross it, it in, and it's collected by Stiegerwald. Long pop-up of a kick headed away to Withers. And Withers' touch is uh, interfered with, with by a Moorhead State defender. Long pass taken away. And Stevens lays it off towards the right, so right side with uh, Foxley. More substitutions coming for... Corey Kane and Shelby Sanders coming on for their respective sides. <laughs> Long throw into to Wither. That will be a th free kick for Moorhead State. Wither not happy about the call. Or throw in rather. Long deep throw in again. Murray State collects possession, but not before Moorhead State tries to clear it out. They fail to do so, but Murray State has to pass backwards. Pass over to Fry. Appeals for handball from the Murray State bench again. Another ball deflects off the shoulder of number eight, Duffy. Gomez sends it down the line and it'll be out for a throw in. Last five or 10 minutes, it's got a little bit untidy. Somebody needs to, from either side, needs to get a grip on the game. It's just kind of back and forth. A lot of trading back of ball and midfield, a lot of turnovers, a lot of stuff. It's, uh, it's, it's got to clean up from this. It's, it's, you know, it's not going anywhere right now. And it's definitely, the game has definitely started to slow down for both teams. A lot of throw ins, a lot of uh, time coming off the clock. And we'll have another Moorhead State substitution. As it will be number three, it will be number three, more, or Murray State rather, substitution. Uh, Caroline Ashton coming on for Harriet Withers. So it looks like Withers uh, first half is done. And now you're starting to hear a lot more shouting coming from the Murray State fans over the calls the referees the referee is making. Good to get excited over thrown at midfield. Very important. We call that sarcasm. And a long ball. You're starting to see the mud starting to flip up a little bit. And you got to wonder what the uh, field condition is as we're playing our second game on the uh, grass here. Long pass is collected by number two, Kane. Long pass out to Ashton, and Ashton got hit, got tackled hard. The ball in and behind. 
Pritchard setting up the free kick. Five, five players in the box for Murray. Pritchard, low line drive, finds Kane, was unable to get a good, good solid touch on the ball as Moorhead State tries to begin their counterattack. <coughs> Passes too long and in, into possession of Murray State. Just a lot of long, long balls, just trying to find uh, some sort of attack, midfielder or attacker thus far. Yeah, a lot of trading punches really going nowhere. Um, and again, it's to be expected in the game. This importance, conference semifinal, Evan on the line. Everyone's competing hard. It just needs a little bit more quality right now. It's it's very scrappy, but um, pass out to Gomez down the sideline. Demanti gives chase, but it's out for a go a throw in. Black with the throw in and gives it back to Moorhead. Service into the box, header, and that goes wide. Terrific ball in. Got position in the box there, got a head on it. Very nice effort. Lovely ball in and decent effort there. That was Demanti who got, got her head on it. Unable to get uh, the right touch on it just to put a goal bound. And didn't bother Stegerwald at all as we had hit the 40 minute mark here. And now Moorhead State, now it looks like Moorhead State is starting to find some sort of momentum. Cross into the box and Stegerwald collects. And yeah, Moorhead State's looking to get into these areas that wide and being dangerous. I'll tell you right, right now, they're having success. They're having success it's dangerous. doing that. You have to watch behind and it's cleared away for another Murray State throw in. Yeah, easily handled by the keeper. A straight ball like that in the field's not gonna cause too much damage. A bad touch right there, right there by Burroughs. Sends it out for a Murray State, uh, Moorhead State throw in. And Moorhead gives it right back. Bjorkvall. Throw in toward. And they're starting to collect in that corner of the field right now. As Fry gets set to throw it in towards Borkville. And it's right back to Moorhead. Another throw in. Looked like Demanti tried to find a teammate through the legs of her defender, but was, but was unable to connect. Throw in. And Murray State collects. Right. Long ball to Ashton as collected by Murphy. Punt. Now Moorhead State with the attack. This might, we're coming close to the end of the first half of play. No score between Moorhead and Murray State. The winner takes on Southeast Missouri on Sunday for the Ohio Valley Conference Women's Soccer Championship. Through ball here, and just thunderous collision and the free kick awarded to Murray State. Free kick there, she uh, looked like Wilson slipped a little bit. And that's out for a throw in. When I stand correct that that was, um, that was Foxley who took the free kick and slipped. 
Roman over toward, towards Brockwell. Back to Foxley. And the pass is over to Stevens. And a tackle right there, and it'll go out for a Murray, a Moorhead State throw in. More shouting from the fa fans over here on the hillside of here. Throw in. Lays it off, and Murray State trying to mount an attack here. Cleared away by Moorhead. And cross here. And they, and they say it's a, f a goal kick for Moorhead State. Fans thought there was going to be a corner. Really well defended. Took a little nip off the attack and they're going out for a goal kick. It's, um, yeah. everybody's working hard. Everybody's trying to create something. It's, uh, it's what you expect out of a big game. This is definitely going to come down to possibly the final minutes of the second half. And who knows, we may go beyond that. Quick throw in by Murray State. Cross over to Ashton. Ashton lays it off. Ball hits multiple defenders, shot is blocked. And another shot over the bar, oh my. A shot little there. Goal skirmish, yeah, a little interesting. And the shot there, Moorhead survives. And the shot there by Bjorkvall, Bjorkvall goes over the bar. That was the best chance Murray State had of scoring so far in the first half. And it looks like Moorhead's going to try to take their collective time here with 30 seconds until we hit half time. Ball twisting all over the place. Starting to get a little bit rougher between these two teams. And it's cleared out for a Murray State throw. Ten sec under 10 seconds remaining. Ball goes backwards. And that will be the first half of play here between Moore, here in our second semifinal between Moorhead State and Murray State. Nothing between the teams. It is still nil-nil. We're at we're at halftime. We'll take a quick break, but we will be right back here on the Ohio Valley Digital Network. Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Back to Kutchin Field here on the campus of Murray State University. We are just getting set for the second half of play here at, here at Kutchin Field between the, the number five seed in the Ohio Valley Conference women's uh, soccer tournament, Moorhead State and the number one seed, Murray State. So far in the first half, you saw Murray State had pretty much a good, uh, solid um, uh, pace to begin it, Ian, with eight shots on go with eight shots, three of those shots on goal. Yeah, the two best chances of the game fell to Murray State, the one that was cleared off the line, and one as time was running out in the end of the first half. They took neither. It's gonna be an interesting second half. Yeah, I don't think. Coach Lipka's going to be upset with the, the way his team's playing. They've sat back, they've absorbed a little pressure, and they've got the power on the break to hurt you. Coach Groves from Murray State's going to be kind of saying more of the same, more of the same. Both coaches took their starting, a lot of their starting players out to give them a little rest right before half time. And kind of the game, you know, fell into a little bit of a scrappy uh, period there, but I expected again to pick up same intensity. And I certainly wouldn't make a prediction in this game. I think it's there for the taking, and I think it's going to be a great second half. Definitely, as both teams return with the uh, start, return to all their starters to the field, key players including uh, Stevens, Her Withers, uh, Stevens, Withers, Critcher, and Langster for Murray State and Moorhead. In back in is uh, Abby Tim, their their key striker who was on one of the who was on the uh, all newcomer team for the Ohio Valley Conference. As we are getting set, both teams to switch side. Moorhead State now attacking towards Chestnut Street and Murray State attacking towards Racer Arena. First 10 minutes will be key. If anybody can, uh, can sneak one in the first 10 minutes, it's going to make it interesting. It'll be very, very interesting if Moorhead State can get the lead here, what their tactics will be, sit back and 
you know, if Mari can get the lead, obviously they're going to invite more head on, and that's going to create a, a bunch of uh, counter attack opportunities also. And Finally, poised game, a little bit of a chess match between the coaches. Let's see what happens. And we're back underway here at Kutchin Field. Moorhead State gets possession early as they try to mount their first attack of the second half. Murray State get, gets a clearance, but it's out of play. And probably one of the biggest issues as we go further along in case we do go to extra time here is that we do not have light here at Kutchin Field. So it would be, we would be taking penalties pretty much in the twilight if uh, need be. And a throw in right over to Tim. That's turned over to Lankster. Langster with the ball. Good service in, just couldn't find the intended target. Murphy will roll it out to the defend to the defender uh, uh, Gomez. It's down the side. Black can't collect. She does now. Well, along the sideline looking for a potential cross. She gets space. The cross is deflected away. And Murray State will attack White. White unable to maintain possession. This is it's trouble. Up. This is this big trouble. That's big. big trouble. Here's Withers. Withers. She gets by the keeper and can't get there. Yeah, so there's that much space in the foot race. She's going to win that foot race 20 times out. To keep it a great. Murphy did great to come off the line and force a little bit wide. I thought she was going to slide it by her first time. Probably should have done that. But uh, that's a glimpse of what Harriet Withers can do if she gets a little space to run into. She's off again. This is also trouble. 1v1 in More here. More trouble. And she took one additional touch too many, and it goes out for a goal kick. Harriet Withers making her presence felt within the first two minutes of the second half. And you have to wonder when exactly, not if, but maybe when, she's going to score and possibly give Murray State the lead. That's going to be the wake-up call for the Moorhead back four. They did a nice job on it in the first half. Didn't give a space to run into, but they cannot get into that situation again. She will win a foot race every day of the week with the whole back four. And uh, she's going to wish she had that back later. Should have just slid it by the keeper. And Weathers is flagged again for offsides. She's been flagged offsides uh, pretty much all for every time Moorhead State has been flagged offsides, which is the, for the fifth time. Yeah, and that's okay. Like I said, she'll, they'll take that. That's her game. Her game is to get them behind. She's going to offside once in a while, and, uh, you know, coaches will be okay with that. She's trying to do what she's going to do, and said all she needs to do is to break one, and she's good to go. Sends it downfield towards Black to Tim. Ball deflects pretty much off of, uh, look like it deflected off of Tim's hand for a sec, but no handball given. And it'll be a throw in for Moorhead State over by the corner flag. Tim will take it. Fakes the throw over to Stivers. Black with a cross and it's too high. Angela Black's very dangerous. She's behind most of what uh, Moorhead's got going on right now and Mora's gonna have to keep a handle on her too. Cross is a good sh ground shot and a little roll wide for a goal kick. Yeah, right back at the action. Four minutes in both ways. And again, it's, it's finally poised. It's a good game to watch and Moorhead's just got to be careful. They can't leave space behind them. As soon as somebody turns, they need to drop up or hold their half sideline high and tight. If you give her space to run into, she's gone. They'll send it down the field. Moorhead State trying to get possession in. Almost withers. Palmeltier, nicely done. Yeah, it's played, played well. Their back four's played well. They got, they've survived a couple of scrapes and a couple of opportunities. That's going to happen. They'll get, get away with nothing against a team like this. Yeah, and Paul Matier's uh, messing with her, um, her headband at this point as a foul's given and a free kick awarded for Murray State. Wind's picked up a little bit, it's blowing right into uh, Caitlin Murphy's face. And it's, it's not decisive, but it's, uh, it's definitely picked up a little bit here. You definitely gotta think if it's gonna make some sort of uh, impact. More a defender went down in the box, but nothing given. And Tim, and that's a foul again, and that's a foul against Foxley. 
And Tim. That's sore. He's grimacing. Yeah, that's sore. That's a little sore there. I thought they both went for the ball hard. I didn't see much of a foul in there, but that comes a little bit sore. Should be fine. Stivers. Long pass out towards Gomez. She collects and sends it towards Black. And it's unable to meet Black as it's collected by Steerwall. She boots this one downfield. Still up in the air and Warhead State will, go, will collect. Unable to mount a decent attack, however, it goes back to Steegerwald. Down towards Weathers again. At least one Murray State player appealed for a handball. Everyone else decided to play on. Back to right. Langster is tackled by Tackled by Duffy. Langster gets it back. Long ball. That was out towards Richardson, but it's collected by Murphy. Now Moorhead State. Looking like looking likely to attack here. Hits off a back a heel. Looking for a cross. Yeah, that's Steagle a great work. tackle. Uh, then Devine saved a real opportunity there. They got him behind. Danny Wilson, that thing was about to get put, cut back and a glaring opportunity. So uh, kind of a little bit of a, uh, a timely intervention there. Definitely so. And Weathers hasn't seen a real good through ball lately. And White trying to attack here. Withers finally collects over to Stevens. And it's along the side to Richardson. Starting to see a little bit more physicality as the game wars on. Stevens tries to cross it in. Langster tries to serve it into the box, cleared out, cleared out of the cleared out. A lot of grabbing right there <laughs> by Langster. Now you're starting to hear the wind picking up as it's blowing through our microphones. Starting to get a little bit more of those um, 10 mile an hour gusts or so. Downfield to Tim. Walson fails to collect. Withers, Withers now in the defensive third for Murray State. It's over to Tim, who's playing as the winger right now. Great ball. Great ball. Oh, that's a able great to ball, connect man. right there. If Black connected th with that, that would have been a huge goal for Moorhead State, especially when you consider they have conceded a lot of goals in the second half of play throughout the year. Wide open game. Right now it is end to end wide open. I think Moorhead will be much more comfortable with that. I think the uh, Murray State coach is going to probably want to tighten up a little bit. What's going on here? It's uh, it's empty. it's like an NBA basketball all-star game here. No defender allowed, just back and forth, back and forth. Oh, come on, ref. That's a little bit uh, sensitive, huh? I think the referee's had a great game so far. It was just a little bit uh, tip and tap there. Nothing there. And referees, uh, referees are bound to make one questionable call every now and then. Come on, Wayne. They're not allowed to make any mistakes, you know. Come on. Like coaches, never make mistakes, right? Only players. <laughs> Critcher with the free kick. Too deep. And that's out for a throw. Uh, goal kick. Good energy about the game. Good intensity, good energy. We've got a nice little crowd here right now. Feels like a playoff game. It definitely does. The whole hillside filled with people here. You can imagine that momentum for Murray State would be all for them if they can get at least one goal and get the crowd into this. But they'll have to contend with the counterattack for from Moorhead, and they'll have a great spot for a free kick as a, a handball is called. It's his long way out, but Palmatier on the weekend put one down from 25 yards and smashed it in the 90. And this is straight on. It's a, it's 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 all probably 45 yards, but uh, I'm not sure if she fancies this one or not. The one she held on the weekend was spectacular. See if she fancies it. 
Uh, looks like it's going to be clipped in far post. Oh, great That's ball. Low ball. Shot just, just too high. Nice little set piece there. Very clever. Everybody was looking for the service, including me. Far post, and just nipped the ball into feet there. That was a, definitely a good, good shot, just unable to keep it down. As we head through towards the 60 minute mark here in this match, the second semifinal between Moorhead State and Murray State. And, that, and Murray State beginning their, their, their attack here. Well Harry Withers. Withers was looking to go through with that one. Crossed by Foxley. Into hey. the box and collected by Murphy. Easy ball for the keeper there. She's got to, again, got to take the height off that. She's got to pull a little shape on it. And uh, decent idea, just not good execution. She'll like that back and do better. Cross through to Richardson. Richardson looking the cross, and there it is. That's the goal for Murray State. And who? And it's been the one player we expected to score all day, Harriet Withers, her ninth goal of the year. It is 1-0 Racers. For anybody watching at home, you want to watch two strikers combine. Just watch that over and over again. Nice little run into the corner. Great ball across the face of goal and a first time finish. That's actually a very, very high quality goal. Well worked, lovely finish. Great ball across the frame by Taylor Richardson. You couldn't have, made, you couldn't have scripted that e any better if you even tried. Long I'm way to go, long, long way to go. Don't get, uh, don't get too comfortable yet, Murray. This, this team's not gonna roll over and die. Definitely so, but the crowd here Behind the racers now, but they all have to contend with a chance here, and that's cleared out. And a bad clearance right there, sent backwards. Moorhead State might have a chance. That's a good tackle. Feet were down, and she played the ball. So it's a good tackle. Everybody screams on the hill, and you know what? That's a great tackle. Yeah, well time, nothing but ball. It looked more devastating than it actually was. It was a tip, and then. The player fell down. Yeah, she played all the ball. Good tackle. Good call by the referee. Good no call. Yeah, and they're starting to get a little bit more ominous as the rain is starting to fall down here again. It was elected. The the forecast called the, for the rain to wrap up at around 8 a.m., but it's been uh, on and off since about uh, noon. Yeah, it's 8 a.m. in Australia, I think, or somewhere like that. Sure night 8 a.m. in Murray because it's coming. And here's the throw in. They're going to go for the long throw in. Wilson will throw. Wilson is on the hillside again. She long throw in towards Tim. A bit of a push there. It's actually probably nicer weather in Yorkshire for all our Yorkshire folk listening back in England there. Hope you guys have better weather than we are. Probably a bit warmer than Yorkshire, to be honest. Well, that's true. The Groves is maybe the largest. You know what? Those Yorkshire people, I need a bit of good weather there. This is probably great weather for, the, for them here in Kentucky. <laughs> we'll see what Moorhead's got in response now. They gotta be careful again. This game's not over, long way to go. They can't get impatient. They just gotta keep doing what they're doing. They can't afford to squeeze up too highly. That space in behind. The second goal here will be very difficult to come back from. Long kick by Murphy out towards midfield. Tim is on it. Able to get an outlet pass tor towards um, Hilt. But the service towards the box is not unable to connect. Hilt tried, tried to pl play a little bit more defensive there. Okay. And Gomez collects the errant uh, Murray pass. Back to Tim. Tim and Wilson have switched sides. Looking to create something from either side. Then mobile. Definitely. I think Angela Brack's a huge threat still for uh, for Moorhead. Those three can pull a goal out of anywhere, so it's going to take you know good concentration from the Murray back four to keep this going. Naomi, Naomi Devine's had a great year for for Murray. Really cleaned up a lot of uh, a lot of tricky stuff. Here we go again. Weathers, Weathers service into the box, unable to connect with anybody. But Murray State still, still threatening here. White 
Passes it back out to Withers. Across into the box. Palmatia, very solid in the air. So Banks is going to have a pop if she can get it down. Nope. And the headgear is, and Paul Matier's uh, headgear is down on the playing surface. As, they, as Murray State will try to collect down in at midfield, and they're unable to do so. Wilson. Service towards Duffy is unable to connect. And it will be out for a Murray State throw in. Langs has played well. Aaron Langs had a nice game on the left side here of the diamond for Murray. Got a, uh, got a hold of the ball well and kept possession well and has done a nice job. They need Lissy Wright to get involved more. She's been really quiet today, just sitting in front of the back four. She needs to get on the ball and, and start to distribute a little bit. Another throw in for Murray. And they're playing a bunch of um, balls on the sideline. And here's trouble. Withers again. She's gone. She's gone. You won't catch it. She's gone. She's gone. She's going to slide it back. She's going to cross. There it is. Yes, she is. Bang. Bad touch. Langster. Oh, oh. Yikes. Aaron's eyes got big, and the world opened up. Lifted ahead there. All you got to do is tuck that in with your side foot and bear dome. Easy game from the stands, but she'd like to have that back. Just side little side foot pass on frame. Great tackle again by Palmatier. Richardson was in. Murray's starting to really get the ascendancy now. I think what's happening is the back four of... Uh, good tackle by Golden. Great tackle. The back four of uh, Moorhead are getting tired. They've done a lot of chasing all game. They've been chasing these players with pace. They're starting to get a little bit fatigued, which is natural. And yeah, starting to look more as Murray State will have a corner. Fox, Foxley will walk up to take the corner. And in the box is White, White, Critcher, and Stevens. Keep Ryan Stevens here. Ball's out to Langster. Small service is not, not cleanly. And that was a heavy tackle. Yeah. No intent, she had her eye on the ball, played the ball, just kind of a uh, little bit of a collision. Well done, both players bounced up, play on, no problem, free kick. Really impressed by the energy level of both teams and the commitment, the intent, fantastic to see. And Moorhead starting to see a little bit more energy and although they're having some bad touches, quite frank, frankly, they still aren't giving up in this match at all. No, there's no giving up, there's no giving up. I've known Warren Lipper for 20 years. There's no giving up in anything. You know, it's uh, this team's been very successful over the years in the OVC. And again, he had a great career at Kentucky, um, winning SEC championships. There's no giving up. Skills are tough. They're very tough. And that was a substitute for uh, Murray. Uh, Destiny, Destiny White came out, and in is uh, Rebecca Bjorkvold. And Langster, service into the box, is cleared away. Tried to head it forward and it goes off and backwards. And good ball over to Tim. Little isolation. Well defended by Maisie Fry. Maisie Fry is going to watch that ball go out near the corner flag for a Mur for a Moorhead State throw-in. Ball goes out for a throw-in, nearly hitting the scoreboard. Moorhead's got a good, it's, it's still a long time to go, but it's only Moorhead's going to commit some players forward. That's going to create some opportunities here on the counter. They've just got to be careful. A long time to go. Hips open. And a long throw in into the box. Tim unable to get a good hand on it, and Stegerwald collects. Stegerwald with the punt. Gets out towards midfield. Headed down by, St by Stevens. Over to Langster. And Langster trying to pass it to somebody along the wing, but no one was there. Yeah, both players kind of looked at each other as Stevens and Richardson. He both thought they were going to make the same run. Neither made it in the end. Yeah. 
Down, tipped up. Tim unable to get, get her a uh, good touch on it, but it'll be out for throwing for Moorhead State. And referee now stops play, and there'll be three substitutes coming on for Moorhead State. What I expect to see here is they'll, they'll take off Black, Wilson, and Tim, give them about six, seven, maybe eight minutes rest, maybe 10, 15 minute mark. They're gonna bring those three back in for one, one final push. Quick throw in right here. The throw in was towards the Manti, but it's collected by Murray State. And the, as the rain continues to fall on and off here. Richardson's in, she's in. Richardson, great save. shot saved. Rolls. That's a problem with playing Murray, you know. You just can't worry about one play with speed. You've got a couple, and that's uh, it's very hard. Good save by the keeper. Murphy, great save, in fact. She's played well. Especially when you consider there are three pl players for Murray State that are on the all-OVC first team. And the top play pl offensive player of the year, of course, being the goal scorer for the, the lone goal scorer for this contest, Harriet Withers. Well, I talked to Coach Groves early in the week, and talked about finishing chances. They've had enough chances to put this game away right now. It's only 1-0. They are really, uh, they are absolutely in the ascendancy here, but they're not gonna be comfortable until they can get second and the third, and you talk about killing off teams. That's Lan what they need to do right now. Langster's cross is deflected, but lands at the feet of Stevens. And Stevens unable to maintain possession of it with the tackle. And the ball will go out of play for a Murray State throw-in. Two cleared off the line and two missed one-on-ones. That's the recipe normally for disaster. We'll see how it plays out in the end of the game. And Langster plays off to Richardson. Over to Foxley. Both collide. And they take both players taking edges and hits. And a substitute coming on for Murray State. Crowd gets very excited when people get hit, don't they? Yeah, they seem to. <laughs> uh, Best will be co coming off, and uh, the correction, Bjorkvold will be coming off, and Burroughs will be coming in. Or actually, co correction, it looks like Richardson will be coming off, and Burroughs will be coming in. You'll see some more Richardson before the end of the game. I think the same thing's going on. She's getting a five minute breather. She'll be back in the game. And that's definitely the one thing that NCAA uh, co collegiate soccer here in the United States deviates from the uh, the official rules as set by set by FIFA is that you are allowed to come back into the game on the subs as Burroughs trying to attack here could be dangerous and it's out for a corner. Another another player with pace, Burroughs pace. They've just got pace all over the place. White pace, Withers pace, Richardson pace, Ashton pace. It's it's kind of a relentless wave, you know. Again, very, very difficult. The way the rules are, which, you know, that's a topic for a whole different discussion. It's very difficult to play in the back four when you've got six, seven, eight fresh players running at you. Kind of feel bad for the back four myself as a former defender. Yeah. Witcher with the cross. Header is still up in the air. And not really the best bicycle kick in the world, but as it's collected by Murphy, but you gotta watch those bicycle kicks. There was an odd goal that happened in the Big South uh, tournament in the quarterfinal stage where, high, where a High Point University player basically did a bicycle kick and it somehow wound it up into the back of the net past the Longwood keeper. High Point would wind up winning that contest uh, four goals to one. And Murray State will have the throw in here. Service downfield is collected by Devine, unable to keep it in. Can't say enough about Devine, how solid she is and no nonsense and just does a good job. Win. And, and Foxy grabbed the shirt there. That's a clear fuck. Little tug on the yeah. shirt. Silly, really. Nothing. Uh, maybe that's the Engle English coming out of Rachel there, you know? Hmm. I can say that because I'm English. <laughs> Wait, you can't <laughs> say that. I can say that because I'm English. And Paul Matier. We'll take the free kick. 
Six players in and around the box for Moorhead State. Keep it Puts cool. her boot through, yeah, keep and it's it scooped up by Stegerwall. Too much float on it. They're gonna drive that thing and whip it in, and really not gonna be a, a difficult task for the keeper there. But again, it's can't speak can't speak too much about the back four and for Moorhead how well they've played too. I know they're getting tired. They've just chased everything around the field all day. They've just gotta find a little bit more resolve and stay tough. And I think that might be one of the reasons why Moorhead State has had trouble mainly in the second half is just the way they run around on defense is probably one of the uh, one of the reasons they get tired and they give up um, these small little mistakes. Albeit the goal for Murray State was absolutely spectacular. They got a, yeah, Moorhead State's got a, a mixture. They've got a, a weird mix. They got a, a, a lot of senior players and got a lot of freshmen. You know, so some of these players have been around the block. They've won an overseas championship before. Some of these players are just starting to find their way. But it is a very difficult thing if you've for those who've never played at the back before. Chasing people who can run all day long is not a fun thing to do. I can assure you. You got one, you can deal sure. with. When you got like six, that can run. It's a nightmare. Indeed, it is. And speed has been the way that Murray State has scored goals all year long. As the service by Moorhead goes at goes downfield towards Fry. And a nightmare for the OVC is, again, for Moorhead, Tim and Wilson, a freshman, and for Murray, you've got Richardson and Withers, who are both sophomores. That would be a nightmare coming up next season for those teams to play against. Good, good turn right there by Burroughs, and the service in there just unable to clear the defender. Well played, great shield by Stevens. That's what they need right to do, Murray. Get involved a little bit, get a hold of the ball, just settle it down and play a little bit. Fry over, and the service is in. And Murray State just picking off every pass that Moorhead State throws at, at themselves. That's Best. a great ball. That's a, that's a great idea. Not quite a great ball because connected, but I tell you what, Murray State is absolutely dominating right now. Moorhead just needs to settle down, take a breather. They'll get the three players back in in a couple of minutes to, uh, to look for a goal, but they've got to be careful they don't give up the second here. Morris hunting hard for the second. And you notice Murphy is deciding to call a defender to take the goal kick. It's a low goal kick. And a little bit of trouble right there. Just what you want with a defender, right? You've, you've chased six players around with pace all day, and then the keeper says, hey, fancy taking the goal kick? You're like, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And you'll see substitutions for both teams. Three substitutes coming on for Moorhead State and one substitute coming on for Murray. And you're starting to notice a lot of the bleachers on the far side here are starting to get, are pretty much full, as well as the hillside. Everybody in the Murray State community proudly supporting their soccer team here. We got some Moorhead folk here too. Nice about uh, four hour trip down from Moorhead, Kentucky. And it's an all Kentucky uh, event today. Indeed it is. And to me, you've got the, uh, the two sharpest coaching minds in the women's game in the state of Kentucky coaching in this game, and Warren Lipker and Jeremy Groves, Trip Rogers, Matt Lodge, fan two fantastic staffs that do a great job. Don't have the resources that some of these bigger schools have, but they, uh, they get it done. They know what they're doing, and they get the best out of their players. That's coaching. And Paul Matt here with the goal kick. Sends it skyward. Headed down. And Morgan Moorhead State clears it out. A lot of timid touches for both sides. But definitely, that's a threatening ball just too far and in the hands of Murphy. As soon as she played that ball, Aaron Lang said she was, uh, she knew she put a little bit too much in. Excellent idea though, really good, nice vision. Here it is, as the goal kick will go out for a throw in. And with just about 15 minutes before full time, what do you think, is there anything extra that Moorhead State would need to do in terms of trying to find an equalizer at this point? Well, they've got the three, they've got the three main threats in the game back in right now, and I think, Wayne, it's only going to be a matter of time till you see someone push up from the back, and it's going to be all. You might as well lose 5 nothing, lose 1 nothing. You know, it doesn't matter either way. And Coach Lipkin knows that. So, they, you know, I would expect that maybe the 10 minute mark to see an extra player thrown up front. 
or certainly somebody pulled out of the back, you know. They're going to play for some set pieces, see if they can uh, develop something off that. Service in on the free kick, goes out of play for a goal kick. Murray's in a familiar place. They won a lot of games 1-0 this year. So they're quite comfortable sitting back, you know, and absorbing a little bit of pressure. I think both teams know their identity. Um, just now, you know what, obviously 15 minutes to go. Somebody needs to make something happen. Just slightly different from the first time these two teams met met as uh, Murray State won that match 2-0, but here, here's Moorhead State on the attack here. Dangerous ball. Look, dangerous ball, yeah. Steerwolf collects. That's the area they want to get into to serve. A little bit of angle on the ball makes it difficult for the goalkeeper to come get it. Steerwolf's played well. She hasn't had a lot to do, but she's done it comfortably. On the other end, Murphy's made two or three really good saves. Both keepers have performed well today. Odd touch right there. <laughs> little kung fu fighting, I think. Yeah. And we'll stop play for another Moorhead State substitution. And it'll be Kimberly Golden returning. And out will go uh, Duffy. Hilt with the throw in towards Tim. Headed on towards um, Wilson. Wilson unable to get a good touch on it. T the pass is out towards Tim. And a bit of a hold right there by Foxley as she wins possession. And that yeah. will go out for a throw in. Well played by Foxley. I thought she was actually fouled and um, referee let it play. It was quiet, but this is where it's dangerous. And Burroughs now showing, showing off her pace. Oh! Through a ball, and the shot just missed. That was Ashton with the shot and just missed. Going onto the left side of the post. Another great chance, well worked. Burrows pace, Ashton pace, just keeps saying the same thing over and over. Very, very dangerous to deal with. Tried it with the outside of her right foot, might have been a little bit easier with the left foot there to just slot that one home, but again, they're, they're carving out enough chances here to put the single away already. Free kick awarded to Moorhead State on the foul by Stevens. Taylor Stevens has some engine. That girl has some engine. She has not stopped running, not stopped working. She's on both ends of the field. Terrific. Love to watch her play. Very good. And Palmatier will take the free kick. Long ball down the sidelines and out of play. Was looking for Hilt. On that the ball's got to go in the box. That's what that's, that's they've got a physical uh, uh, physical advantage. That ball's got to go into the penalty area. Can't be clever from there. Foxley with the throw, a tackle. Fans appeal, fans as well as Stevens appealing for a handball, but nothing given. And now a free kick awarded as Divers is fouled. This thing is going in the box. That I can assure you. Let's hope it is. Oh, I can assure unless, you it is. Unless there's uh, some trickery here. That'll Coach Lipka's gonna be out of that seat real fast, and there's gonna be some noise made. <laughs> they've got a, they've got a, oh, some big targets in the box. They've got Tim, they've got Golden, both of them very, very good in the air. Palmatier looking for it. Shot on, and it's in! It's in! It's an equalizer for more for Moorhead State. It's one all. Talked about it before the game. Set pieces, set pieces are pivotal. Nice, tidy finish. Just a shock and just a gasp went up from the entire crowd. Here at Kutchin Field, the majority racer fan base absolutely shocked with the equalizer. That's a great finish. That was a lovely ball in by Palmer Tears, a really, really tidy finish. And we knew, again, all these opportunities that Murray State have been talking about it. You know, it's you got to finish something. They need the second goal. It's a long way to go. It's going to be a very interesting finish right now. Definitely so. And then straight from the kickoff, it goes towards Murphy. She collects as uh, Withers was was running that running her down. And you get a sense this nervous energy now now here around the state 
here around the field. Kind of the same nervous energy that was inside the CFSB center last night in that exhibition game. They, they credit the Moorhead State goal to Samantha Demanti. That's her second goal of the season with the assist by uh, Paul, by Teague Paul, Paul Mattier. Yeah, again, lovely ball in. Nice, uh, nicely worked and a little over 11 minutes. Long way to go for somebody to find a winner here. Definitely so. If we don't find a winner in the next 11 minutes or so, we could be heading to extra time. Quick throw in by Tim. Trying to, fi trying to find Gomez, unable to find her. Long downfield pass to Withers, and it's sent back. Good touch by Stivers. Touch pass looked like it was for Tim. And it goes out. And Black unable to keep possession. And they say it's a free, it's a free kick or no, it's a throw in for Murray State. And now the referee's calling it back as the throw in was taken too, too early or it was actually a free kick. Wow, I don't know if anybody knows what's going on. Oh, there we go, we got a free kick, okay. That'll be, kick will be taken by Critcher. Critcher with a long kick over to White. Try to send it into the box. Stevens. She's in. Threw a ball. Shot. Missed. Oh. Goodness. Wow. Wow. It is not. I thought when she connected with that, that thing was going to hit the back of the net. No, no doubt. Just. And just shot wise, it's just been a day, day that Richardson would just like to put behind her. Two missed great opportunities. Just unable to connect. Good thing about a good striker. They don't care. Go get the next one. They don't care about how many they miss. They just want to get the next one, you know? Tim unable to get possession for Moorhead State. And Withers turning for Murray State. Unable to get a good, good pass off. Okay, well that was a crucial head of it because it's one on one at the back here with Tim and if she's gone, she's gone as well. This game is wide open. That could be dangerous. Definitely so. Look out. Passes over to Tim. Unable to keep it in front of her but black with the pressure and it'll be a throw in for more head state. Cut the air with a knife. You can say that again. It is. It's with uh, eight minutes left. A long throw in again. Oof. White, another shot. Stegerwald snatches it away. Tell you what, that was a half opportunity for Angela Black. She's in the corner there. She's got anything on that. That thing, uh, that thing was goal bound. Definitely. These little half opportunities. Somebody's got to step up and put the game away. Chested down. Laid off and sent towards Wilson. Oof. That touch right there. Wilson collects and Moorhead State tries to advance. Long ball. Wilson collects. Looking for a Dangerous. cross. Dangerous. Dangerous. Uh, Over a yeah. bad touch right there by Black. That will be a throw in for Murray State. I love the fight that Moorhead State showed to scrap back into this game. They look down and buried there a little bit with the chance coming after chance. And you know what? They are fighting on. They indeed are. And two players get tangled up and a free kick awarded to Murray State. Quickly taken. Stevens. That's got a little bit too time. much on it. Yeah. You can and see they what tried to find Weathers and it was. Weathers was not ready for that pass. Long pass 
up. Long service out, no one on the wing just thus yet. Tim, Tim able to get a good touch on it. Black keeps it in play, sends it deep, and that looks like it's going to roll out for a goal kick. So you know, if anybody predicts a win right now, they're braver than me. I don't know which way this thing's gonna go. I don't know which way you think it's gonna go all day. It's, uh, there's still gonna be opportunities here. There's too much going on in this game. It definitely doesn't look like it might. it's going to be solved, possibly in regulation. Unless somebody can find a winner here. Tim unable to maintain possession and Murray State will try to attack here. Pass over to White. Unable to connect. Pa pass over to Tim. Still unable to get any connection in the box. Trying to push up, Lankster. Lankster try to find Withers, but unable to connect. It'll be a throw in. Lankster will take it, passes it in to Withers, who gives it back. Pass over to Stevens. Over on the far side to White. White's able to collect, slide tackle, and it'll be a throw in for Murray State. Corner, and it will be a corner for Murray State. This is gonna be difficult. This is gonna have to be something well worked for Murray. Moorhead has, again, got the, the physical advantage for sure. She can let the wind do a little bit of work here. He needs to drive this thing across the face of the goal, and somebody's got to get across that player. I've looked for Stevens. That's what I'm looking for off these set pieces. That'll be Foxley. Oof. Goes over everybody and out of play for a goal kick. Palmadier. Lined up, gets the ball back in play as we approach four minutes left in, in normal time here at Cutchin Field. Service, Murphy collects. Withers was giving chase. Long pass over to, looks like Gomez. And then pass over to Wilson. Stutter steps and make, makes Fry fall down. Long pass out to Black. Black looking the cross. She does. Cleared away. Look Wilson out. does. Look out. Quick shot. Saved. And yeah, it will be out for a corner for Moorhead State with 3.30 left in normal time. Good effort by Wilson. Nice pitch on top of the box. Nice little cut inside service by Black. And... Uh, Wilson on top of the box, good save by the keeper. Now some confusion. No, there's no confusion. Paul Matier will take the corner as we approach the three minute mark. There's a huge space between the six yard box and the penalty spot. That is dangerous, dangerous, High ball. dangerous. Unable to connect and it'll be out for a goal kick. Long ball, headed down, headed over by Gomez. Wilson lays it off, sent it downfield to Black. Black's unable to collect, but Wilson collects. Looking to cross here, she does. Dangerous. Dangerous ball, and it's a foul given to Murray State. And now with two minutes left in the contest, it's either you go for, for it all or you just wait till extra time. And right now, Moorhead State is actually putting Murray State out on its back foot. 
Moorhead again, the Moorhead back's done a great job winning every first ball that's coming in in the air, just kind of tidying the game up and uh, they play very well, they play very well. They've survived a, a few rocky, uh, rocky things, but they've done a nice job. Black manages to win the ball. Oof, a good header. Divers, unable to get the pass, and a Ooh. free kick Say what? given to Morehead this State. is going to get struck on goal. If she strikes this like Sunday, this game could be done. That's a brave call by the referee. A brave call, That's indeed. a one way to put it, I think. I'm not quite sure there where the foul was there. Palmatier hits a bomb. Ball if she puts it on frame, it's, 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 this could be done. Referee indicating where, where he wants the wall. Palmatier. Shot Ooh. on it. Whoa. She would like that back. Yeah. Into the, the parking lot <laughs> with one minute remaining here in normal time. High wide, not very handsome. Not at all. Look out. This oh, is this She's is dangerous. In. She's it's in. Withers. Withers gets around the keeper, the shot, it is in the goal! With 31 seconds left. Harriet Withers, her second goal of the game, her 10th goal of the season. Murray State, it looks like will advance to Sunday. Wow. An absolute, a devastating error by the, Moore, by the Moorhead State defense. And Harriet Withers makes them pay dearly with 30 seconds left. Wow, all I can say is wow. Wow, 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 wow. Pace, pace, and pace, that's all you can say. Well, this game was fantastic. I gotta commend both teams on an excellent effort. What a great game. Great contest for, by both sides, but there can only be one winner. And with a dramatic winner by Harriet Withers. With 30 seconds left in normal time, Murray State will advance to, Sun, to Championship Sunday and will take on Southeast Missouri for the Ohio Valley Conference Championship. Yeah. Every one of those Moorhead players needs to hold their head up high. They gave a great effort. A fantastic game, fantastic game. Absolutely Very enjoyable and uh, like I said, each one of those players needs to hold their head up and, and walk off and congratulations to Murray State. Uh, pace, pace and pace, Wayne. We talk about it all day, speed. And a great season for Moorhead State being able to